pharmacists are an integral part of our society and they deal with a myriad of issues other than dispensing medication. Out of curiosity, we invited Franza Katz, our resident pharmacist from Pick and Pay Pharmacies, around for a chat about requests and questions they get every single day. Franza, first of all, do people minimize your role in medicine? Do they think you just take pills from a big so. bottle and put them yes. into a little <laughs> bottle and then into that cage that's that you right. have to take to the counter? <laughs> I think a lot of people do think that's all we do. And they yeah. don't realize that pharmacists actually do know a lot about medication, especially about interactions between medications, side effects, how it will interact with food and with different vitamins. Yeah, and even, you know, they all kinds of questions related to healthcare and medicine, first aid questions, any problem health wise that you would have because the pharmacist is there to give the best advice to the patient when it comes to over the counter medication. Yes. Also often um Customers will come in and say, oh, please just pass me ABC medicine. Yes. But maybe they should speak to the pharmacist and say, look, this is my condition. What do you suggest? Yes. Um, because just because you're used to drinking that particular cough mixture doesn't mean it's the same one you need next time you have a yes. cough. Yes, and they also may not know about certain drug interactions, Absolutely. things of that nature. Yes. Uh, do people feel free to ask you questions? Do they Some know they can? Some people do, yeah. um, but no, not as often as I think. I think people need to realize that taking medicine, they need to know what they're taking. Yes. And do you know what, as a pharmacist, it's the best thing for us to help people, yes. to give that advice. Um, getting the best health, being in the best health that they can What be. type of information would you give to people surrounding generics? Oh yes, generics is so important. I think um, by using generics and checking with your pharmacist, is there a generic for this? Because generics work just as well as the original medication. We can help them save money and actually stretch the medical aid to last them longer. So you actually advise them yes. to ask their pharmacist absolutely. constantly if there are generics or Yes, not. absolutely. You just talk a little bit about over-the-counter medication. What's the definition of it, like in terms of shed yeah, we call it over-the-counter medication or pharmacist-advised therapy yes. medication. And that would be medicine that contains um, chemicals and drugs that you can use without the doctor writing a prescription and making a diagnosis. But also it's medicine that you should not just be using willy-nilly whenever you want to because it could have side effects, it could interact with other medication. Yes. And those medications are all made into schedules, as we would say. Um, schedule 1 and 2 you can buy without a prescription and that would be behind the counter and I think that's why the pharmacist would give it over the counter to the patient. Yes. But the whole idea why it is behind the counter is so that the patient would ask the pharmacist and engage and ask questions and the pharmacist can advise and say how they should take it, whether they should take medicine A or B or what would be the best option. Final question, is there a course at pharmacy school that teaches you how to decipher doctor's handwriting? No, no, unfortunately not. No. I, I really believe they should add a handwriting course to the, to medical, the medical curriculum. Um, yes, absolutely. Okay, I will join you in that fight, <laughs> my sister. <laughs> Thank you so much, Francis, for joining us on Doctor's Orders. By supporting the Hood Sprayed Endangered Species Center, that's where we found goodness. Pick and pay, always there for you.